stocks over there to housing right here at home and hope for it. The S&P Case-Shiller Index gaining 3% year over year in the month of September. That came in a little bit above expectations. Good news, six straight months of gains on that index. What to make of it? Yo, Professor Bob Schiller is here, and he's co-author of the report. Bob, can this continue in a straight line, the recovery in home prices? <laughs> a straight line, yeah, up at 3% a year. That's a uh, pretty good, reasonable forecast. That's what the futures market at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange is saying, and it sounds like a reasonable forecast. That's not much above inflation, but it, it is an increase. Have people's expectations for home prices improved because, again, the animal spirits and confidence in housing are so critical to getting people to buy? Have you seen evidence of that improving as well? Well, I do, with Carl Case, we do questionnaire surveys of home buyers. Our last survey was in June, and that was in the middle of this price ride, but we didn't see a whole lot of improvement in expectations. So. Uh, I'm a little puzzled. You know, part of what's happening is foreclosures are falling behind us, and so the indexes look better because there aren't as many foreclosures. What about is all the buying activity you're seeing, is so much of it related to interest rates, Bob? Well, interest rates are at historic lows, so that certainly is a factor. It's also that people think, I think people have gotten kind of trigger happy with uh, some people thinking that this uh, might be a beginning of another boom. In certain cities like Phoenix, I think that's a, a factor. And so, yeah, I think markets might be more volatile going forward. What other markets look frothy to you other than Phoenix? Miami, maybe? Because well, Miami's been very San Diego, hot. yeah, well, San Diego uh, and San Francisco have been hot. Uh, you know, any city that went through a bubble before, I think, is at risk, including Miami. Um, once people get kind of the speculative fervor, they don't necessarily forget it. But how is it possible that now home prices peaked, what, in July of 2006, is that right? And now we're not, yeah. so we're, you know, more than six years into a correction, but it, seemed, it does not seem like a distant memory in terms of the frenzy that people got into. How is it possible that people didn't learn lessons just a few years ago about the danger of being over leveraged in an inflated property? Well, I think people have learned something. They've learned that home prices can and do fall, okay? Nobody doubts that anymore, I think. But still, you know, uh, the idea, the reality that it could actually fall right now doesn't impress people. People think, I, I don't know why, but it seems to be the psychology that I'm hearing, that modest increases are almost assured. I think it's more uncertain than people realize. We, we've got this fiscal cliff, we've got Europe, we've got Asia. There's a lot of uncertainties out there, and while I think it will probably go up at a modest pace, there is a real possibility still, I believe, of declines. Finally, stocks or houses, which is cheaper right now? Well, according to my, I have this CAPE index, cyclically adjusted price earnings ratio, which is kind of high, but still my forecast based on CAPE is for, you know, for the next 10 years returns real returns of something like 4%, so nominal returns of more like 7%. So I think the stock market beats the housing market, in my estimation right now. It's all uncertain, though. Anything like this is very uncertain. Thank you, I think, Bob. You didn't make me feel better, <laughs> but again, you gave it to us straight. <laughs> it's all positive numbers. You Everything know what? is looking up. <laughs> Home is, uh, buying a house is great if you only have to put 3.5% down, and that's the most of your right. own money that you can lose. Absolutely. And you just put it on the taxpayer, right? And just so if the house goes underwater, it's the government's problem. It's not mine. Well, yeah, but we're all taxpayers, too, so Very you might as well do it, yes. <laughs> well said, Bob. Thank you, Bob Schiller of Yale University. Take care. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. My pleasure. We're all in this together.